Hi, you guys. If you want to learn how to make my easy and delicious charcuterie board, stay tuned. All right, you guys. So the first thing we're going to do is start off with our cheeses. This is a gourmet cheese, and it is flavored with shallots and chives. It is a soft cheese. It kind of has the texture and consistency of cream cheese. It is super delicious, you guys. Very, very yummy. Highly recommend. I also have some Harvardi cheese, which is one of my favorites. Um, it's a semi-soft cheese, and it melts beautifully if you want to use it for like a grilled cheese or um, even put it in your mac and cheese. I also have some goat cheese cheese here with wild blueberries on it i love goat cheese especially on a salad um this is also a soft cheese as well now we're going to move on to fruit and i'm just going to shingle some sliced apples here just like so I'm also going to be adding some grapes and that is not it for the fruit. I'm adding some finishing touches at the end. So you have to wait and see. Um, now we're going to move on to our bagel chips, you guys. And these are super yummy. It comes in a variety of flavors. I'm also adding some Parmesan garlic pita chips and these are super yummy as well. Moving on to the meats, I have some salami here along with some capicola, which is one of my favorites and also some prosciutto. Adding a little bit of seasoned olives. Make sure you let your guests know if they have pits in them because we don't want anyone to crack their teeth. <laughs> I'm also sprinkling on some pistachios, which are one of my faves. And I'm also adding in these coconut macaroon macadamia nuts. Delicious. Now we're heading back to the fruit, you guys. I had some macerated berries that I used for another dish earlier that day. And I thought I would adorn the board with those beautiful berries. my baby was so excited <laughs> he loves charcuterie boards you guys and my last finishing touch is drizzling a little bit of honey on my apples and that is it you guys you can make charcuterie boards for any occasion it could be a family movie night a date night um even if you're entertaining guests and you need to hold them off until you know the the main entree is ready um you can just create a board for everyone to kind of snack on um i love them you guys they're super easy they're very very delicious and each time you make one you can switch it up it doesn't have to be a complicated thing you can switch out the meats the cheeses the nuts whatever you want you guys it's no right or wrong way to make your or charcuterie board the way you want it to as you can see my family is thoroughly enjoying this board and that just truly makes me happy so i hope you guys enjoy this video let me know what you think about it in the comments below if you did love it make sure you give me a thumbs up and even share it with a friend check out my food playlist for other easy and delicious recipes i love y'all and i will see y'all in the next one until then bye <laughs>